character, you can look at the Jurassic World Primal Attack Alioramus. Yeah, that's not a species you'd expect to see in toy form ever. And I have to give credit to Mattel for this. Even if their figures aren't the most accurate all the time, it is nice to see them uh, make obscure genre into toys like this. And it is really nice to see a dinosaur like Alioramus. Because I, I, I come to think of it, I cannot think of, off the top of my head, any other company that company that made an Alioramus. The closest I can think of is Safari making that Quianza of Soros that I reviewed uh, a while ago. But either way, uh, this little guy is pretty nice. Uh, I got him at a Target for about seven bucks. He's one of the uh, attack pack figures, so he's fairly small, has no real action features. He's essentially just got a couple of points of articulation. Uh, the colors on this guy I actually really like. This um, dark brown with this bright red, it works well with me, and this the bit of tan on the uh, underbelly with the uh, orangish eyes. Oh, and that is the thing you'd scan if you have the app, which does not work on my phone, so I can't actually get it. Posability for this guy is pretty basic as far as attack pack figures go. The arms are capable of moving. The legs can move, but you're not really going to want to pose them because... They can ruin the pose, and this guy does stand pretty well. He does have a bit of clown feet going on, but he he can stand pretty well. The tail can be rotated, but I'm not going to show that off because that breaks up the color scheme, and I honestly don't know why Mattel put that joint in there. The head is able to be moved up and down, uh, and go up about that far to have him like roaring at the sky, and you can move it down about that far. I guess maybe he's going to take a bite out of something. And as with the others. The jaw can open and close, but you'll notice I have kept his mouth open the entire review. That is because... Yeah, he's got a bit of an overbite, and it's actually pretty damn difficult to get the mouth... ...back open! Uh, as you can see, I... Uh, attempt number four. Ah, there we go. Attempt number five. Managed to get the mouth open. Yeah, the mouth is pretty damn hard to get open. That's the only real thing I dislike about this figure, because other than that, I actually think this figure is pretty nice. I can't really say much about scientific accuracy. It looks like an Alioramus, I'll give him that much. Uh, there is a bit of shrink wrapping on the head, but that's the, really the biggest thing I noticed, and I think there's a bit, yeah, you can see those ribs there if you look closely. Um, there's no feathers, but I don't think there's any direct evidence that Alioramans, I think that's what this group is called, um, had any, although these might be feathers, but I think they might just be sculpted in scales, which the figure otherwise doesn't have very many of. Overall, it's not a bad figure. Um, it's not too terribly inaccurate. It even has non-pronated hands, which is really nice. I really wish more Mattel figures had that. Um, but if you're a fan of this line, you might as well go pick him up. I mean, he's not that expensive. He was only 7 bucks once again. Uh, but if you're not a fan of this series, then skip on him.